Hey guys, Asic Eric here again from the Second Chance Garage and we are going to give this another try today. Um, as you can see, it's all sanded down here with uh, 400 dry, uh, but I have a couple of patches in it that I have to recover from where I blew through the primer. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot the rest of that primer that I have, um, that cheap ready to spray stuff. Um, just as one more attempt to see if I can do a better job this time with it and uh, let that dry, sand it down again like this, and then we'll go ahead and start painting. Um, I've got the big fan turned off in here, just a little fan running on low to get a little bit of airflow to hopefully get the overspraying stuff out of the garage, but I think uh, every time I've had that big fan running in here, it's just way too much uh, linear airflow across the panel and it's causing things to dry too fast. Um, there's a breeze blowing through here today so I've got kind of the wind blowing into the garage and so I don't know we'll see how it goes um, anyway so I'm gonna get the primer on this dog here I started out high there up at uh, 35 PSI or something on the recommendation of the paperwork for it, etc. I've got the 1.3 fluid tip in it, which I think looking at it now might be too small. Um, but I did get a good fan eventually there. Um, dropped it down to like 25 PSI. I had to close the fan down quite a bit, but uh, it looked like it sprayed out okay. So we're going to go ahead and put it on the panel and see what we get. see that didn't really go on any better than the last time I did it. I mean, maybe a little bit better, but still doesn't look very good. Still pretty stripey, but whatever. It is what it is. Primer. About to put the second coat on, and then I've got to let it cook for an hour before I can sand it down and go on to the next stage. So, let's get the second coat on.
So I tried a couple of experiments at the end of that one just for the heck of it since I'm here and I haven't really ever done any of this stuff. I'm trying going slower and higher and closer and I think the best thing that came out of this strip right here where I was going on pretty close and pretty slow um, it was still giving me the wet it or the dry edge though and uh, causing the stripe um, so I tried coming way up and it's less striped but it looks horrible um, <laughs> it looks like the surface of the moon there let me show you that this doesn't really matter because I'm going to sand it off anyway, but let's just show you how crappy that last coat came out. But in the spot where I was going on real heavy and slow, it came out okay, but you can see I was having this problem again. Um, I think Russ called that ruffling. Uh, I haven't heard that term before, but I, I like it. I think it makes sense. So part of this thing came out okay. Uh, most of it looks like hell, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I'm never going to use that primer ever again. So. Let that cook for an hour, sand it off, and then we'll get to base coat, which is what I'm excited about.